Like I could, I, I think I could hit somebody over the head and they would get a concussion from this right now. Today I will be making Gordon Ramsay's bruschette with caper berries, tomatoes, garlic, and pecorino. It's a cheese. Pecorino? Pecorino? Pecorino. I think that's how you pronounce it. Here it is. It's a cheese. My baguette is rock solid right now. So I looked up online and hopefully by putting it in the microwave with paper towels wrapped around it, it will get a little bit soggy. They're not soggy, but not. Uh, we'll see. We're all learning here. Never used caper berries before. Like, look how big these things are. They're huge. So here's caper berries, and then here's capers. Like, what is with this size difference? How can the, like, when I think of a berry of something, I think of it as smaller. Hopefully they taste good. Probably taste just like capers. I hear they go in martinis. Let's go cook more of Gordon's food and see if it tastes good, because most of the time it tastes good. All right. Rock solid right now. Episode may be quicker than I thought if I can't get a soft baguette. <laughs> hey, kind of worked. Look at that. Super freaking hot though. Put it in for a couple more seconds. Whoo, that's hot. It's just too hard. Well, the center is still soft, so let's see what happens. Take some garlic. Let's get a peel. Tomatoes. Mmm, love cherry tomatoes. Pecorino tastes like uh, Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. It's super good. Let's see what we're twerking with on the inside of a caper berry. Look at that. That's interesting. Let's see how it tastes. It's very tart. I want to say tart. Not very good at describing taste. It's salty for sure. It's like a big caper. Who wouldn't have thought? The seeds definitely add texture when you bite in. Man, that's salty though. Can't wait to put it on some bread. See, now this one's completely different. Like, is one of my caper berries bad? Is one of them good? Did I just bite into a bad caper berry? Hmm. Now this one tastes a little bit smoother. I don't know, that one's more, the whiter one is a little bit more potent. But, whatevs, let's do it. Now I'll put some olive oil on them. Oh wow, so now the pieces of bread are getting softer, it's awesome. Oh, that's hot. Put the tomatoes on the garlic bread. Wait, that. Where's my peeler? Need. Here it is. It should work. Oh, look at that. Bam. Sprinkle some pepper and salt. I don't think we'll need too much salt with that keeper on there. And then drizzle just a smidge extra virgin. 
up on that. Peace. And there you have it. And there you have it. Gordon Ramsay's bruschetta, caper berries, pecorino, and tomatoes. Let's have a bite and see what it tastes like. That's good. I didn't get a caper in that bite. Let's see what the caper tastes like. Man. <clears throat> so for me, the caper berries are a little too salty for my taste, but the caper berries just by themselves are, for me, they're super salty. But when you have them with the bread and tomato and the cheese in there, everything kind of equals out, but it's still kind of a little too salty for me. If I were to make this again, I'd probably just take the caper berries out and put some tomato and that uh, pecorino on there. But man, it's quick. It's easy and it tastes delicious. Till next time, thank you Gordon Ramsay for supplying us with some really, really awesome recipes. See you guys later. Mm, that's good.